guys. How are you today? I hope you're doing well out there. You know, what it all breaks down to is happiness. I think a lot of times when we think we want a million dollars, we want a sports car, we want this or we want that. We, what we really want is the happiness. We want the happiness we'll have from being able to take care of our family. We want that happiness that we think we'll get when other people envy us. Happiness is the end result. And so in turn, a lot of people aren't happy because they're always chasing happiness somewhere else. So today, I thought I would give you some advice on how you can be happier right now. What I'm going to teach you here, I'm going to give you the principles that you need, not just to thrive, not just to survive, but to excel, to transform. I want you to understand the physical and the mental aspects of how to be happy. I'm going to give you some tips on things you can do today, right now. So if you find yourself in any sort of depression, wondering what you're missing, if you're thinking that there must be something else that you should be doing, if you're unsure of how to be happy and how to be fulfilled, or maybe times are just tough, we're in the middle of a pandemic and you don't know what to do to make it through the challenges that you're facing. You may have even had a period in your life where you achieved great happiness, but lost it. And that leaves you wondering how to make yourself happy again. Feeling happy isn't as easy as reaching the top of the corporate ladder or running a six minute mile. Though getting what you want and achieving peak states of performance are essential to the constant progress that we need just to be satisfied in life but they won't give us the deep sense of internal commitment that we're looking for. Today, I'm gonna to talk about principles. Again, principles to help you excel. I'm gonna teach you how to feel happy, how to become more focused, how to create more energy by creating a foundation of physical health, empowerment, and gratitude. If you've been trying to figure out how to make yourself happy again, you definitely just need to incorporate some of these principles into your life. Because my friends, there are no big hidden secrets. There's not some huge thing that you don't know that's keeping you from being happy. It's just about taking care of yourself, taking care of your mind, body, and soul, focusing on the needs of others, and looking to role models and mentors who've already walked in your shoes. Like Tony Robbins always says, success leaves footprints. When you put all the principles in place, you will have the foundation that you need to build meaningful experiences and to start feeling happy. Jim Rohn said, every day you have to stand guard at the door of your mind. So true. Why is that? Because what you let in there, what you let into your mind, your beliefs create the meaning that you give to everything else in your life. What are you thinking about most often? What you feed your mind is with what you become. Remember, where focus goes, energy flows. What you focus on expands in your life. Put your focus then on feeding your mind nutritious content and you'll give it the fuel it needs to learn how to feel happy. Our Facebook community is like rocket fuel. <laughs> That's what we do. We give you the tools. We give you the fuel to feed your mind to transform your life. If you're looking to feed that mind, read every day, at least 30 minutes, something that's substantial, something that'll help you, not a romance novel, not social media, not me, right? Not, not our posts. Go read a biography of people who've achieved amazing things or books about science or history. You should be challenged and excited by what you're consuming. Now, if you're not much of a reader, try audiobooks, try podcasts, 
Try videos like we have on YouTube. Just listen to them. You'll get the same type of brain nutrition. We are on a diet of junk food in this world in every area of our lives. And that includes the food that we feed our brain. It's just junk food. There's no, there's nothing substantial there. This will all help you immensely as you explore ways to be happy. Now, another thing, of course, is exercise. No matter how much you feed your mind, it's difficult to make an actual change in life and discover how happy you can be if your body keeps telling you it's unhealthy. Your mind and body are a unit, just like the mind, body, and soul, the triangle. Your mind and body have to work together. So whether you're, you're, you feel certain or fantastic, your physiology changes. When you're feeling physically strong and powerful, your mind follows suit. To strengthen your body, adopt a sustainable, healthy diet. Aim for just a few days a week at minimum of exercise, even walking. But if you can push yourself so your heart rate is up for 10 minutes or more, you're going to get a great cardiovascular benefit. You can create daily rituals to help make you strong. Your daily ritual could be yoga, could be time in the sauna, uh, lifting weights, anything. Having a role model or a mentor is important too. Because whether we're seeking career success or just inner happiness, not just inner happiness, that would be everything, right? Role models and mentors can show us the right way. Find someone who's overcome the roadblocks and the obstacles that you find in your life. Think about someone you admire who's wildly happy. What mindsets or empowering beliefs do they have that allow them to feel happy? You might also consider getting a mindset coach. And if you'd like some information on that, you can go to brentweb.com. But I can provide you with all the tools, the techniques, the processes necessary to help you increase the fulfillment in your personal and professional life. But enough about that. Elevate your peer group. Man, this is important because many of us stay around those who are at our level of happiness or below it, partly because it makes us feel good about ourselves and partly because they don't present a challenge. When we stay around people who are comfortable, there's no spark to grow. There's no desire to grow. The people you spend the most time with, those are the people you become. If you hang around with people who are constantly negative and only look at the downsides of life, guess what? Chances are you will do the same. So surround yourself with those who have an abundant mindset instead of a mindset of lack and see how much easier it is to find ways to feel happy. You need to be around people who do what you want to be doing. If you keep putting yourself there, something positive will happen. If you want to know how to feel happy, spend time with others who share your passions, who can teach you something new. You should also work on your ability to make new and meaningful connections. The more people you connect with, the more likely you are to figure out how to feel happy. This is great stuff. Tomorrow, I'm going to be back. We're going to do part two. This is part one because I have, I have a few more things I want to talk about. So we're going to do that tomorrow. I want to keep this around 10 minutes. So turn uh, tune in tomorrow for part two of how to be happy. If you haven't joined our Facebook community, you definitely should do that. We are a like-minded group of people banded together, empowering each other to reach our goals. Join us. It's facebook.com slash groups slash students of self-empowerment. And of course, our YouTube channel, you'll find that at Brent Webb Official. Over 300 videos, empowerment television at its finest. It's youtube.com slash Brent Webb official. I touched on it earlier. If you're looking for some mindset coaching, if you're looking this year to give the gift of transformation for the holidays, the gift of self-empowerment and personal development, well, 
brentweb.com is a place. All of my books, my courses, and my one-on-one -on -one coaching programs are available there. I just had a client who bought my coaching program for her daughter as a gift. It makes a fantastic gift. Perfume, watches, ties, that's great. But they don't last. Nobody really cares about those things. Why not give the gift of complete transformation? Give somebody the gift of living the life they've always dreamed of. Sprintweb.com slash shop. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Brent Live at 10 a.m. And then tomorrow at 7 in the evening, uh, Eastern Standard Time, we have another episode of The Science of Getting Rich. But don't forget, back tomorrow with part two of How to Be Happy. So remember, don't worry. <laughs> be happy and feel good. I'll see you tomorrow.